Welcome. This is 14th of August, 2024. It's the Jenkins User Experience Special Interest Group. Thanks very much for being here. Topics, we've got a few calendar items and then recent UI topics and upcoming in the next LTS baseline and an accessibility report topic that Christina can share with us. Anything else that you'd like to add to the agenda? Oh, oh, wait a sec. I, I need to put one here, which is DevOps world, right? Virtual and uh, Tim and Jan speaking. Anything else? Um, got a, a quick form I'm putting together um, just to gather feedback from people. Um, so I've just pinged the link. Um, it's essentially just about um, the Jenkins dashboard and what kind of things about it people like or dislike. Ooh, so good. So I'll distribute that here and I'll distribute it to the forums and kind of whatnot. Okay, so this is a this is a survey in Google mm -hmm. Form and a, a yeah. great thank you, excellent. So let me copy that, the easy way, super. Okay, thank you. And uh, I, if you're all right with it, are you okay if we have you take us through a discussion of it during the meeting? Yeah, that sounds good. Great, thank you. All right. So easy ones. Thanks to Basil Crow, to Adrian Le Charpentier, and a number of others. Jetty 12 EE8 is now running in Jenkins Weekly. Thanks to that, it's last Tuesday, the release. Uh, that requires Java 17. We've required Java 17 for nine releases now, so nice. Uh, 462.1 released last week with significant security update, a security fix, be sure you upgrade. This is the last LTS that will support Java 11. 30th of October, we are rolling over to only support Java 17 and 21. And we've got upcoming in just a few weeks, the 2.462 release with Alex Brandis' release lead. In terms of recent UI topics, these were the ones that I had captured. Tim, Jan, are there any others you'd like to capture? Um, there's the um, command palette uh, MR that's hopefully just about good to go. Um, just I think waiting on Daniel Beck just to um, give it a look over, but fingers crossed. Oh, good. Okay. I missed that one. All right, I'll get that. I'll get that linked in here. Thanks. Is there anything on that that you want to show, or it's enough just to point people to the pull request? I think yeah, just just enough to point to the pull request. Great. All right. I can do that. Any others? And I know th these others, I think we had actually discussed in previous sessions. And uh, Tim, if I remember right, this draft is probably still a while away that it's not, not likely to arrive anytime soon. Am I still remembering that correctly? Uh, the other one just got merged t yesterday or today. So, and that was what it built on. So it's, un it's unblocked now. Oh, oh, okay. So the reason it was in draft was just because we hadn't yet merged this one. And you're right, the standard drop downs for autocomplete just merged recently. Yeah, I got merged this morning. Okay. So, so there's a chance that you could move that out of draft then. That was all that was keeping it in draft? Uh, I think there might have been a minor bug or something, but ah, okay. it was mostly that they were very duplicated and to just get one in first. Oh, all right. Makes sense. Needs, so it needs to base off from, from 9452. That one's got it. So basically rebate, you'll rebase. Okay. Maybe you won't use the rebase operation, but logically you'll, or, or you'll merge. Yeah. yeah. Some conflicts to resolve. Right, exactly. Okay, good. Thanks. Any other items that you want to highlight in the in the active work? Okay, next topic then. So DevOps World Virtual is 17 September 2024. It will be an online meeting. 
and there's a Jenkins track. There will be three, three Jenkins topics. One is an hour for the board to talk about where, where we've been, where we're going and major things that are coming. 30 minutes for Tim and Jan talking about user experience specifically. And we've allocated 30 minutes to AWS to talk about Mac OS, Jenkins and AWS. So I think, I think we've got a good agenda, looking forward to it. Tim, Jan, anything you want to highlight there? Anything you want to, to bring up? Okay, great. I think so good. We'll, we'll yeah. be fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. looking forward to it. And thank you very much for being willing to talk to it. Thanks very much. So let's take the next one then, the Jenkins dashboard survey, survey. Jan. So here's, here's the survey and tell us more about what you're, what you're looking for here and how we can help. Sure. Um, so just ahead of uh, DevOps World, I'm wanting to kind of update the prototype that we demoed last time before last time. Um, just to give a kind of more complete picture of where we want to go with it. Um, wanted to get some user kind of feedback uh, to kind of input into that. So uh, put together this really short survey just about the um, kind of dashboard table um, and about what as users they find useful. Um, so for me, I only kind of really find value in the status symbol, for example, and the name of the job. Um, whether I'm, I'm not too bothered about um, my, my branches are always kind of failing, passing, failing, passing. So it's not terribly useful. Um, stuff like last success, last failure, last duration. Again, not not vital for me, but other users might find might find them beneficial. So um, yeah, put this together. I've sent it out to a few people in the company I work for um, just to get their views, but wants to go wider with it. So sharing it now. Thank you. Okay, so you'll send it to the to the Jenkins user mailing list, to the Jenkins dev list. I'll, um, I'll chuck it on the forum, I think, um, okay. and I'll um, hopefully get some get some responses. Great. Are Are you okay if it goes broader than that, or or are you intentionally choosing a subset? Do you if if I if I post it to to other places, will that be a distraction or will that will that be helpful? No, that's, I think the more the merrier, to be honest. Okay, great. All right, well, thank you. Thank you for asking. So I, I, it was fun to hear you say which things matter to you because I confess for me, the last success is oddly enough, deeply interesting because there are times when it's been a long time since I last built and I need to remind myself, oh. Mm -hmm. So so you, 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 Asking the question is great. Thanks very much. Last duration, I, I'll agree there. I'm not terribly interested in last duration. That's not usual that I do something with it. Mm -hmm. All right. Next next item on the agenda was upcoming in the next LTS baseline. And, and this one is the 30th of October release. And I don't know that we as a group need anything to do other than note that these things are coming. Right, so the build history widget has had a very nice rewrite. I've been running it for, I think, since shortly after it merged because I've been working on spring security and it's delightful. Thank you very much. Jan, I think that was your work and and much, much nicer. Uh, user category property, property cat user property categorization, thanks Tim. And other, other improvements, it's looking, looking very good. Any questions or, or things where you want to comment on upcoming changes in the next LTS baseline? Okay, next topic then was Christina, we had a, a Jenkins accessibility report come in in German language. Yeah. And when I look at this thing, it's, it's okay. It Mark Waits jaded view. I wasn't sure that I was getting a lot out of it because of how, how sort of simple the phrasings are. I translated them yeah. to English and I was, oh, that didn't help me understand what the real mm -hmm. problem is at all. Christina, yeah. you want to give some comments there? No, I'm, I'm hoping to get to this first week of September. Oh, okay. Um, and that will probably involve doing a bit of a, doing my own audit on things to see, to see where these are coming from. Um, when we did the accessibility um, 
project. It might have already been a year ago now. It was a while ago. Um, it seemed to all be low-hanging fruit, and a lot of those things were fixed. So I suspect this may be the same. It might just be some outliers that need to be caught. Um, so I think it'll be minimal effort, but I'll, res I'll reserve judgment until September. Okay, so you you have you'll you'll take these and the ones that you identify yeah. as potentially interesting. You'll create issues in the Jenkins market. issue draft. Exactly like we did last time. Yeah. Great. All right. Excellent. Thank you. And and thanks to the company that donated. That it's we're very grateful that they donated. That's very kind of them to share it with us. Any other topics that you want to be sure we address today? Okay, I think that calls for an end. Thanks, okay. thanks very, very much. It's summer holidays. Very grateful that you're here. Thanks a bunch. Okay, have a good day, everyone. See you.